I play the fiddle, and I also play the two tin whistles, keyed in D and C. Well, basically, I actually self-taught. I taught my own, and I read different books on how to play the violin, I guess. in the fiddle for like quite a while, but I never got the, had the money to buy it, so eventually, my, my mom bought me one eventually. So I've been play, playing actually for only a year. Already. I, play, I played here before on St. Patrick's Day, and I also played at, a, at the Cornbloom School, and I played at a community garden over there in Whiteburn. Well, hopefully, I hope to. I hope I try to take some lessons in it, so I can get improvement. Just picked up the fiddle and I just learned it on my own. At first, it, it took a, it was a lot of frustration in playing, and I had to do a lot of rearrangements to my um, string. I used to break the strings a lot of times when I first got it, and I had to replace them a lot of times. But I guess I'm getting the hang of it now. <coughs>
when I got into Celtic music uh, back, I think when I was like in the ninth grade, um, I, I was I never I knew, I knew about Celtic music, but not I wasn't too familiar with it. And so I went I was going to Texas and I had a kind of a emotional moment out in Celtic because I was moving. So eventually when I got out there, I was watching something on TV and had to do with this one person getting a a, a vision of playing and I just saw that as an inspiration and so my teacher introduced me to cook the music and I was like interested in it and then I ended up finding that I have like my dad and mom both sides have scotch in them so I'm like I got real into it then. I love the tin whistle. Well, basically, because it's, it's something about the sound that I play. It's kind of funny, though, because I, when I ever hear the tin whistle, or this is another pipe across the other pipes, I get this kind of tingly feeling when I hear the music. I guess it's kind of linked to me, I guess. Sometimes I feel more easier to play in front of the dose because it's kind of, I have to keep the kids occupied and stuff so I can keep them, I have to try to keep them focused on what I'm doing instead of like wandering off. I play music or I either write poetry about women and stuff. Like basically love poetry, that's about an art. Music that's poetry too. Yes. I write my own songs. I speak Gaelic too. Funny. The Gaelic is a Scots Gaelic language in uh, Scotland. But they don't speak it too much, but it you know, this piece right here I'm about I'm about to play is from a it's from a song called Sleepy Maggie. It's part from a Mash and McIsaac. But I'll play a short part from it. I also write my own songs. So I do arrange see the things I learn different tunes from different sheet music and then I do my arrange I do my my own arrangements on them. It's like certain see I don't read music as well as I want to read it, so I end up doing arrangements to it.
Okay, this one's a song that I got. It's called uh, Christy Berry. Just to the tin whistle is basically a, it's an, uh, an instrument that's basically unique to the British Isles, an instrument. And it's, most people consider, call it a flute, but you know, the, the flute is held horizontally. And the tin whistle is heard vertically, and there it goes straight through like that, instead of holding it like that. Okay. This one is a song, it's an old Irish, it's not, it's basically, I guess it's a traditional song called The Girl That Broke My Heart, it's a real. Any song that you wrote? Uh, uh, not on the tin whistle, I never wrote anyone on the tin whistle. Or I can play one by, uh, no, this one, okay, you want to play, I can play two more if you want, okay. Okay, right. okay, the next song I'm going to do is called The Butterfly, which is a famous Irish character. <laughs> 